Good morning, everybody. I'm Dharma, and this message is for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, anybody that was drawn to this message, what's up? If there's an extended, the link for that will be in the box below to Vimeo, or you can join us on Members. And all of the other signs are up. Um, you have to go to the channel to find them, though. Alrighty. What do we have coming in for Aries, please? So, we have someone who is healed or on the way to healing. And it's funny too because I had them right next, I had them together and I was trying to dodge this light and something spread them apart. It will be the retriever is, this is the Brian Frouds Fairies Oracle if you're curious. It will be the retriever, this character, he works at the office of unclaimed property. So he keeps things close to his heart. He keeps things that haven't been claimed by anyone else. He, he's got a pearl in his hand and sometimes he thinks that they're theirs. He's theirs. She, it's his. <laughs> I mean, they're unclaimed. He's like a collector. It could be like a hoarder. You know, this is, there, it's, I'm, um, <laughs> does that make sense? It's like, oh, that's nice. Find a penny, pick it up. All day long, you'll have good luck. And then keeps all the pennies. And Liz of the Shadows is, it shoots out like a, um, do you remember Mana at Elena Bond? She used to use these cards. And she, I think this was the one, uh, said it was like when you shake up a champagne bottle and then you you get out of there and it some there's some kind of something about self-esteem something about healing it's like this it'll be the retriever is set in their ways they like to collect things they like to I hope this will happen I hope that this is like somebody who collects broken shit and they're like, one day I will turn this into something amazing. And then they wind up having all of the things. <laughs> they're all broken and they never get fixed and whatever. And someone here has, I don't know why they are, it's almost like, it looks like running away almost. Like running away screaming. But it feels more like how I had it in the beginning where this light came in between them. And, and they are, there is a separation now. Okay. So, okay. So, so what do you, what do, what happens next? I mean, they are, let's just do one at a time. What goes on with Ilby after that one, I guess, runs away or whatever? It looks like they're running away, like with little fairy feet. So what happens with Ilby the Retriever then? Um, they look toward the future, and there's this very, very, like, self-expressive um, vibe, I guess. This also talks about freedom. There could be other people, two other people, two women involved that are there. There's three people, three girls, three women. And they are, I mean, they're, they're dancing. They are, there we go. <clears throat> dancing, moving around, looking forward to the future, right? They are kind of just living, right? It doesn't look like it because it, this was, it'll be the retriever keeps the things, right? It doesn't look like they do any kind of changing. There's just desire for temperance. So these are people who are trying to put their life together after someone or something or some situation has ran away from them. And 
we have someone might be sick or stress out uh, the sun energy here talks about success but we're making it happen that's my point like this woman here is doing a freedom dance doing whatever she needs to do to make everything happen for to they've just been guided to yeah be a raccoon so whatever has happened here has left this group of people in a place of needing to have self and or life repair, if that makes any sense. It's closer so you can see them. And it's because of, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why, but there is, okay, so let's go talk about what list of the shadows like ran off and did or is doing it looks like they ran away they are wow this masculine a king of cups they're having time alone all right being independent, but they are preparing themselves. I was surprised when I saw this. They're preparing themselves for a union that they're about to enter. They are, they are, I just want to keep being like they are. And they, maybe that was, I don't know if that was the plan or I'm not really sure. But it looks like think people have people have fallen off here. And what's what's got me concerned, or not even concerned, but like I'm looking at this. Why is there why do we have the separation? Why do we have why are they even in this? I heard final straw. What's the final straw? The hermit. A uh, broken contract. I heard broken contract. Seven of rods. Uh, suddenly I feel mad. I heard they leave it in your driveway. This is absolutely your problem now. And then it's like, look, like this, it's like this imagery that I'm seeing is this list of the shadows at nighttime in the dark or whatever. Rides over, rides wherever on a horse, gets off the horse and runs away into the... And that it feels like that's the final straw for everyone okay so then what happens uh it's it's a, it's it's like the dawn of a new day with this empress And I'm not sure if the Empress, who, what side does the Empress belong on? It's the Queen of Swords. There's a Queen of Swords and a Queen of Fire. And there is, and an Empress. Well, that's my point. There's three ladies. There's three ladies here, too. With the, with the, it, it could be family, sisters, you know, mother, daughter, three generations, whatever, one, two, three. And, and it's like a dawn of a new day. It's like that was the final straw. It was the final chapter. And we were having patience and so that we could move forward and now we can. It's like the final tie is severed, the final cord is cut, something like that. And now everything can, whatever that last thing was, 
that was holding it'll be the retriever together with that one is cut and it feels like it does it does feel like that thing with the champagne where you, the bottle but the cork comes flying off the top because it's pressure and it feels like all of the pressure gets released and now and now we can breathe trant death that's death this is the good tarot so instead of calling it the death card they call it transformation but that's exactly what that is And there might be a King of Cups who has had their eye on it'll be the Retriever over here for a while. And we haven't really been telling anybody about it because we were handling this situation. But there's there's a masculine here who's keen on this woman. But there was, it feels like all the loose ends needed to be tied up and they are and then these this group of people here move on to and it feels like moving on to Beverly okay and then so you have this one who runs off I don't know which side of the story you are so we'll do it completely right what is it that they go for they are spending time alone I literally heard they're spending time alone preparing themselves for a union yeah they're they're healing and they're with a healer. They're with somebody that it, they're, there's four swords is healing. This is their, that, that's that empress. These two are meant to have a child together. Uh, we have the star, that's Aquarius. We have the empress, that's Libra or Taurus. And eight of rods. It's a big, it's panda bear and ace of rods. They are, they are an ace of pentacles. Lots of aces. That's my point. They were, that's exactly what this masculine said he was going to do. They're doing exactly what they said they were going to do. They said they were leaving to start this relationship, this diamond ring union or whatever with this empress. And they spent a little time doing some healing or whatever and they do they do exactly what they say they're gonna fucking do all right any last words for aries please for the week the fool see everything is everything is all tied up all loose ends are finally tied up and that's just it feels like a brand new clean slate right before the spring it's beautiful all right i'm gonna leave it there until next time have a good one aries